up. Play some Rimworld. We're also going to do some recording. Will be posted eventually to YouTube. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways. Day. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do some more of my advanced colony, some more fleshing out of the mod set, and then maybe we'll use that in the next in the next uh, series. This will be the first series. You know, technically, this would be the first series. I don't. I don't know. I'm confused. I was confusing myself. Uh, Yeah. So I'm a huge ass, and welcome to the channel. We're going to be hanging out and partying. And yeah. Clean labs with sterile tile. Bring over your neural heat limit to save you in a desperate situation. Bridges. So I had a colony that I created that had like it was on a river and or it was across a river from where the raids came from typically. It was like a small corner of the map. Um so we'd occasionally get raids on our side of the river, but most of the raids would come from the other side. And that's what we did. We set up a bridge across the river, put like chem fuel tanks all over the river, a bunch of IEDs, and then um they would walk across the bridges, but then they'd get so far, IED would blow up, and they would be dropped into the, the river and then just shot. Um, and the beauty of it was they'd be on fire for a moment, so they would like reassess where they're going, and then um, They'd fall into the water, the fire would go out. So it wasn't even that big of a deal for them, but it would um, freak them out for a moment. And you could deal with them onesie twosie because the rest of the group behind whoever broke the bridge would go to another bridge. So you, it kind of gave you more time. Like you could confuse them to go like uh, the padding and stuff. You could sort of take advantage of the padding system of the game. Go spawning things. Last step. Oh, I don't even have my good recording stuff on. Hello, check. Yeah. Much better. Um, sorry about that. Beginning part of the video is going to have a little bit lower quality audio, I guess. Okay, so what do we got going on? We got. Um, I'm having issues with our silver being stored over here, so I think what I'm going to do is say. Get rid of the silver. Yeah, just a lot of this sort of stuff. Wow. Okay. Over and over again. Good to go. What we got going on? Um, let's use this. And get a trade caravan to come in. We're burning through the remainder of the research. We've got pretty much everything done. Um, we're using 
Bionic spines. I wanted to get exoskeleton suits. Wow, exoskeleton suits as well. Um, here's the issue, though. Here's the issue. So let's look at Ellie. So she has um, dragon scales upgrade. She's got the um, agile physique, I think, does it as well. They both give... Um, No, Agile Physique doesn't, but Dragon Skills Upgrade gives you armor. She's got the Brain Melder and the Membrane. The Membrane also gives you armor. And they're not applying separately, and I think it makes more sense to have them apply separately. So I think we're going to switch to, there's a mod that allows you to apply them separately. And then we have all this upgraded gear that also is giving her, like, ridiculous armor because it's using this ridiculous material that is expensive to make. So I think it makes sense to um, have all the different armor levels apply separately so that you can, or yeah, so that we can, um, I guess make a little more sense of the amount of materials and work that's going into these different things we're using. I gotta watch this because sometimes they'll just... Oh, they didn't. Okay, cool. Sometimes they'll just... You'll unforbid them so that they can be moved and then they'll just use them there and just never move them. And it's super frustrating. Freaking men, I... Should I make enemies of them? You know what? What if we do? What if we do? They are hated by everyone. Um, let's do it. It's kind of cheap, um, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't like the fact that they keep bothering us like I don't want I don't want them coming here so often okay let's uh decimate these guys it's hilarious all right let's yeah let's just like and we'll say yeah just that guy cool that's all and they should be enemies now yeah and then they won't come back i really hate those guys i feel bad um but not really because i mean what did they bring me to trade Freaking 800 silver and, oh, yeah, I guess they do bring these things sometimes. Um, I don't know. I'd much rather have people bring possibly some of this more advanced, these advanced materials, like the nano machinery, atom machinery, pico machinery, alpha poly, beta poly from Glitter World or Glitter Tech. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that's going to be bad. It's really funny. Um, yeah, alpha, alpha poly, beta poly from Glitter Tech. They're pretty okay, but compared to the, um, the little the different machineries they just don't they don't measure up as well they're not i don't know not as solid i guess um, 
I'm gonna regret that, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. How much titanium, uranium, titanium? I need plasteel. Okay, can I get to it? No. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Let's watch this one, see if they do it here. Oh, I paused. Maybe they'll not even use it. They did not. That's awesome. Okay. Got more plasteel. We're at. Uh, it's far. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's uh watch our farm here. We've got beet plants. Uh, smoke leaf, peel root, uh, tobacco, hops, tea, coffee, rice, devil strand, more hops, more heel root, tea grass, pumpkin, more beet, and some strawberry. Uh, we did have the initially uh, for our power setup. We had wind turbines set up, so at the edges, I just had. That's why all of these pads are too wide. I had the um, wind turbines facing with the long edge inward. And then you could do like one like that and then you flip. Or you could do this way too, I guess. But you flip and it's... I don't know. Yeah, you flip. So you skip one and then flip it. And then you can do the next one. Just flip it. And then you have to skip one and then flip it. And you can do that. We had... Yeah, just tons of wind power out here. And that pretty much held us over. You know, we had a huge battery bank. Probably end up replacing this with something soon just because we have we have the nuclear power. We don't need it. We don't need batteries so much. Um, our next order of business really is continue the production of these different types of machinery and start working on our second layer of defense. Um, yeah, raids aren't as, that much of a challenge. Um, speaking of, I do feel like my mods have been kind of getting out on me. Yeah, it's 95% every year. So we have a high likelihood of um, Cassandra, Phoebe, Randy. Uh, we don't have Freya or Maynard because they don't really make sense so much. Um, for the scenario I'm going for. Freya might. And then I would just do Freya because I don't want to deal with the, the like changing uh, mood penalty of, that Freya gives if you don't go out and um, uh, do quests and stuff out on the world map. So I just stuck with um, Oscar, Perry, Empress Evil, and Igor Invader. We'll see what we wind up doing in the, um, the mod pack. I still haven't decided on a uh, win condition. So the scenario is going to be um, sort of based around the, um, the mercenaries mod. Basically... It's, it's the, like, you have to recruit everyone scenario. And they all have to serve in the mercenaries for, like, a, a year or two years or something uh, when they're first recruited. Like, you recruit them, you outfit them, and then you send them off to the mercenaries to do whatever it is they're best at. Like, we had, we had Tim out, and um, he's incapable of violent, but he has a really high social, so we sent him out just as a diplomat. He worked as a diplomat because you can do, you can do that. Um, I don't have any right now. But yeah, you can send him out as diplomats. And we had Baldwin. He was out for a long time. Um, I think he can go out again. Actually, let's see if we can send him back out because he he was a he's a very annoying dude. I don't like Baldwin. I'll tell you that. 
ranged melee i can't remember mission nope baldwin is good at intellectual um it's baldwin scientist there you go veteran yeah so you can just apply uh whatever skill is appropriate so it's melee skill range skill um artist construction cook um oh wow not animals because animals is animal trainer plants medical mining intellectual social and crafting so we have him scientist he gives us some money and so we'll consider the um we will consider the payment as like um yeah we'll, so we'll include the payment and stuff so the the scenario is going to be we are like a frontier colony and we're trying to help settle a planet that has previously been settled by like some rebel free peoples groups and some friendly groups and things so we are sending people out they're settling areas and we're one of those areas so we're going to set up a farm we're going to set up a uh, defenses and things and we're gonna have like a trading outpost and a hotel and stuff on the rim on the on this planet and I think uh, our goal will be like we have to have as many beds for um, our hotel as we do colonists uh, we have to have like enough meals and stuff that we're not worried we have to have a, enough farm stuff that we can support ourselves and we bring in our own like coffee and tobacco and stuff and maybe we could do like a themed thing and just say only tobacco or only um the what is it called the opium one uh, what's it called psychoid yeah i don't know I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna keep it in braziers. I know they're pretty much cheating. I'm gonna keep in braziers. Um, I like this defensive setup. It's there's a little bit of kill boxiness going on, but uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I think it'll be interesting. We have the um, more Architect garbage mod, so it gives us it gave us this thing, Architect research assistant, and I think that is actually giving us points and like random stuff. Like you'll see like four points here and there. I think it's just like randomly giving us a few points and like different small stuff. I think we started that one, but because we were gonna go for the combat made uniform, which gives like this movement speed bonus and global work speed bonus. But I don't know, changed my mind on it. Um, yeah, mainly because of the, this stuff, the machinery. It's just too good. It's too solid. It's like, trying to think how can you um nerf it and i think the only way is to make it like gold and um what's the other one gold silver where you have to use 10 times as much small volume ingredient uh, this is the balancing that the mod creator decided on I don't know. Maybe it makes sense because it's worth so much. But... <laughs> Is it only in your left ear? I didn't even notice you were in the stream. Oh, 
What's up? That's funny and frustrating. And what does it say? Do audio sources. Primary microphone. Well, what happened? Okay, primary microphone. Um. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear my soothing voice in both ears? Better or rarer? Okay. I like it. All right. Um, yeah, so I told the stream already. This is being recorded. This is going to be uploaded to the A Huge Ass channel on YouTube. So, if you're bored now, just wait until uh, <laughs> you watch the video. That's terrible. Um, yeah. I had a door out here that helped with the animals somewhat. Should do the same here. I don't know. Can't really. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is here. These guys are working next to nuclear reactors, so. Oh yeah, he's got toxic buildup. You do need a brain. Yeah, the exoskeleton suit, and that thing, as like, if you have to choose like one thing to give a person, one, uh, Bionic to give a person. That's the one. For sure. For sure, that's the one. I don't know about the editing. I, may, I might try. Or I might just upload it for now. Um, we'll see. Um, this is kind of just a test video. Like, what the video I'm doing now is just to see how uploading goes test out this mod pack to test out a whole load of things so we'll see how it goes whoa that guy is not it it's this guy is gonna be our no I don't want to waste that on him what am I I'm gonna make a dude okay so here's the other part of things that I wanted to uh... I don't know Cover ish. We have this thing. That uh lets us like just choose whatever we want. So we can do um a tortured artist, but that's not what we want. We can do a tough. We can do um sanguine. Or uh let's do bloodlust actually. And then do um, Sanguine. And what's the Transhumanist? And then do some of the weird, like, um, melee traits. Um, Breaker, what do we got, man? This is, it's rough to, this menu needs to be like, I don't know, changed or something. This is difficult to tell what's going on. Martial artist could be good. Um, brawler. Melee, it increases melee hit chance, yeah. Um, we're not going to need Jogger. I'll tell you that right now. We're not going to need Jogger. We will want... 
nimble. Yeah, that's a good one. And then... Uh, stuff like that's cool, but like we really don't need the increases to movement. Because with these... Uh, Arcotech upgrades, like, it, it changes your freaking, yeah. It makes it difficult for you to get, I don't know. It, it makes it really easy to max out, like, your defense and your movement and your manipulation, like, to a point where it's just nonsensical. Um, we're just going to do all those. What are we at, 33? Yeah. Um, battle metric, we want the Mech Knight, Mech Hive. Psychic attunement we don't really need. So, we can do this too. Yeah, yeah, we want that because it increases learning factor. Soldier morphs have typically a low, lower learning factor. Um, just come out ready to brawl, okay. I'm okay with that. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna make your hair black as night. You're gonna be freaking super mega emo dude. Okay. No, maybe we do give it to Savage because he's a savage. And then we just make two more. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, we're, we're not exactly gonna be hurting four parts. Here's what we'll do. Um, I want the brain melder. I want two legs. I want the membrane. I want two lungs. And that makes them so fast that they're they're never nobody's ever gonna catch them. Then we'll do the two eyes and the two death claws. What are they called? Death. Yeah, death claws. Who's doing it? Ellie. What is your ten? surgery success chance is 2,000. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See, this person, they've got all the upgrades. They've got everything. Their manipulation is 22, 25. Yeah, okay, so I just saw your comment, Nox, dude. Um, yeah, like, if not a little pop-up that shows you, like the issue is, yeah, so you, you kind of expect like, like you have, yeah, a pop-up that shows you like, what is this trait? Like, what are the effects of the trait? Just cause I, I have tough and great memory, like body purist, transhumanist, stuff like that memorized, but like, um, yeah, some of these things have, I've, I've got like 30 or 40 million different mods that are adding traits and removing traits and stuff. Uh, but also, it says um, original trait. Like, okay, that doesn't help me. What was it? Oh, he was Ocean Lover. Okay, but I had no idea. I just go in and it just says original trait. Just frustrating. Also, Android's mod. Um, that adds that person to your colonist, but the, as like, like they're kind of dead or something. So you have to go in, if you have the runtime GC, go in and clear your pawns after using that because it messes with your game pretty significantly. Yeah, this is the other thing. This is, I can't even click on them. Blackburn is my crafter. They're level 20, but they've got just, um, the arms, they don't have the, and the, what is it, the membrane? Yeah, the membrane increases your labor speed. They don't have the lungs or anything else really that increases stuff. And their manipulation is 2400, and they're a stock standard human. But, if you look at their, general work speed is low because they're a perfectionist, which is crazy with this setup because they're just creating like the best stuff in the world. But they also, the general labor speed is 17,000%. Like they're 171 times as fast as a regular human. Like that's insane. Making advanced components like 
nobody's business. But they're getting all stolen and thrown into this place. So we only need 13 more. Oh, they got the Persona Core. We need more Glitter World Medicine, which means we need to call a trade caravan, which shouldn't be... Yeah, it's mechanically in... What is it? Menai? Or whatever it was. I have this set to infinite. It's always going to be at 100%. I'll show you the settings. And the reason for that... I don't have a good reason for it. It makes the game easier. I'm thinking to keep it infinite, but then I'll change like junk chance to like 90%, uh, chunk chance to like 5%, and then resource modifier to like 50. And then, yeah, we can have a quarry and they can go through and do whatever they want and and dig forever, but it's, it's not going to be super time efficient. Like it's going to be more time efficient to go mine out the entire map and pick up all the resources on the map first. Like I have, but... I haven't even pulled it all back. That's not frustrating at all. Okay, Savage. Let's see. What is your melee DPS? 25.31. Huh. So. Yeah, this, this should be interesting. It's just 100% efficiency, 170% efficiency. That's cool. Manipulation is almost 99. That's interesting. So we'll have to see. We'll wait until they're more fully ready to be a human, I guess. Um, did we pick up any more? Just freaking salt, man. Salt everywhere. What's with the salt? Oh, okay, we do need gold. Gold would be good. Okay, let's get Lucero over here, do some trading. This is crazy. Two viewers on this. <laughs> that's, uh, that's hilarious. Um, Acrotech plant matter. What even is that? Um, I want more of that. We don't need more of that. Architect eyes. I needed to give them architect eyes, and I forgot. That's probably okay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, give it that. Give them that. Okay. How many pumpkins do we have? We have loads of pumpkins. Um. Back off on that by a few. Yeah. Paying for everything in pumpkins. That makes 100% perfect sense. Wow, we're actually low on silver. Because, yeah, this stuff costs silver. So if we look at nano machinery is the lowest level one. It's 15 components. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's make this easier. You guys can read. Um, yeah. So two components, three silver for five. Which is 30 silver. Is what they pick up, actually. I think. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 30 silver. Because it should say it there. 30. Yeah, because it's a 10 times. Because it's low. Or high volume or whatever. High volume, low volume. It's a decent amount of work. But then Pico Machinery is... Um, so four times that plus 20 more silver... So whatever that is, 140 silver plus eight components for five Pico machinery. And then auto machinery is four times that plus, um, yeah, 10 more silver. Auto machinery is just insane. You can see right there, yeah, it shows you. Um, what it doesn't show you is the beauty. I think the beauty is off the charts as well. Hit points is just crazy. Beauty is crazy. Melee cooldown is crazy. It's all crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, 
Ah, uh, no update. Oh yeah, eating speed is still so good. They're still woozy. We'll send them off to go raid someone. I think we'll send them off alone with some medicine and a few meals. Go decimate. Maybe they can bring Ellie along with them. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get the bulk production mod though, because I'm not a fan of watching them make advanced components one at a time. Bulk crafting mod would be great. I gotta get the freaking, the no rain mod too. That um, stops the rain stuff. Making a sleeve, I haven't ever tried this. I don't have a lot of experience with this, so. We'll see how that goes. I've got one dude. I think Zippy has a cortical stack. Yeah, so. And they don't have any feelings about being re-sleeved, so we're gonna re-sleeve this dude, 40 year old man, into a brand new female uh, infiltrator body. Let's see how that goes. Oh, what are my relations with Mechanical Union? Wow, good thing this isn't difficult to read. Yeah, 100, okay. 100. Wow, wow. Who is it? Who is it that's doing this to me? It's Ellie. What the heck is going on? Tons of lag. Okay, we're gonna drop it down a bit and hope that that kinda deals with some of that. It's crazy. Yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to deal with too, is all the Occasional lag spikes. Figure that out. Freaking just salt and jade. There's some gold. Bunch of steel down here. That might be good to get. I have a ton of steel though now. What am I at steel wise? Three grand? I don't have a ton of steel. I'm gonna run out of steel. Do that. Well, okay, I guess I got six grand of steel. Still. Steel, still. Yeah, so this is it. This is all I've been doing, really. Playing this one out. How many days are we at? We're at... Oh, where'd it go? 269 days. Is that four years and a month? In game time to be here seems a little bit uh, I don't know interesting three nuclear reactors I'm thinking I'm thinking a lot of things maybe not use those nuclear reactors because they're a little bit cheesy I mean, honestly, I'm having no... What are you doing? See, this is what I was talking about. Savage. It's not very savage of you. Where did I put it? Right there. Freaking picking up these chunks that I'm... I can't even... Ugh. I don't need chunks. I've been trying to not get too many chunks because they just... I just don't need them. I'm getting tons out of the, out of here. You know what? That might actually be a good thing. So my whole defense is based on those chunks because I get so many of them. I'm able to build all these embrasures and heavy reinforced walls. And they're taking like 15 of each of these resources reinforced wall out of slate 
Yeah, 15 and then 5 steel. The only way I'm able to build all this, all these defenses, is with those chunks. So, reducing chunkage. Uh, that might be helpful, actually. Interestingly. I don't know. Okay, Savage, where are you at? Uh, manipulation, you're up to 90% consciousness. Let's take a look at LA DPS up to 34. Armor pen, 34. That's interesting. Um, let's do... Um, who's it, Savage? And Ellie. Look at their freaking market values, too. It's insanity. Absolute insanity. Whew. Um, let's do 15. We'll do 15. That should get him back just fine. And then five minutes in. Yeah, guy. Come on, Savage. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ellie, that's you now. Okay. Let's uh, drop that edge. Stupid edge. I think I'm their enemy. I don't know. We're about to find out. Hopefully. Hopefully we're enemies already. And I didn't just uh, ruin a perfectly good relationship with this uh, faction. See what's up. Ooh. Getting a little late. It's Sunday. Got to see my mom. Um, we did a socially distanced get together. Let's see, we, we got some hamburgers. We had a picnic on our front lawn. It was, uh, it was a good time. Where'd they go? They're right there. Okay. Savage, you are going to just go straight in. I'm going to have Ellie. Ellie's much faster because she has the lungs. The upgraded bull crappy lungs. Wow. Just shot their arm off. Savage, how you doing? What's going on? Crack from a Warhammer. Five damage. Oof, you're still under the effects of the anesthetic. Um, you go over here.
Wow, okay, that was cool. That was cool, that was cool. Wow, we got some more friends. We got some more friends. It's not bad. Savage, yeah, just the freaking Warhammer, which probably would have been halved. Yeah, see, this is the this is the dangerous thing about the melee mans. They're seeing dead bodies constantly. That's why I was giving that guy bloodlust. I figured maybe with bloodlust, they're less likely to. Uh... have a mental break and stuff. Cool, okay. That's good stuff. Um, yeah, let's uh, claim it all. If you come in. Um, do that sort of thing, then we'll have you just come over here. And we'll have you actually go over here, because this is a, an abandoned base that might have some cool stuff in it that we want to look at. Whereas this base, we pretty much already know what's here. What's up? Contains wine. Quality, poor. Normal, normal. Poor. Progress. Yeah, days left. 47 to 6. Cool. Still, you're just slow as all hell, man. What is going on? There we go. A single herbal medicine. Wow. Okay. Bring the dude, Savage, back over. Let's see what's up. What's inside here? Nothing. Um, yeah, let's uh, call it there, I think. Yeah. Done with that. Reform caravan. Head back. I was thinking about using the what one of the settlements mods that uh, gives you the ability to make settlements. That might be a thing. A limestone mini turret. I feel like that ain't right. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so use uh, one of the settlement things, but I don't think that goes with the concept of the scenario. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do that. And we'll, sure, we'll bring a bedroll. Why not? Uh, we got plenty of beats, yo. Let's uh, send it. How are you doing? Health. Oh yeah, Savage even has a speed skin suit and she's barely, or he, she is barely, wasn't even able to keep up with the freaking Ellie because Ellie has the lungs. And the legs. It's crazy. Uh, 
don't know. <sighs> Massive dodge chance with uh, all those abilities might be good. Cause that's that was Savage's problem. She got hit, right? So we do the separate layers of armor, like it, each layer of armor applies separately to the um, damage. And then, yeah, this would be absolutely an undefeatable melee setup. Absolutely undefeatable. Base destroyed, it's interesting. I think we're gonna call it there for the recording. Um, I'd say thanks for thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and drop a like or whatever people say. Yeah, thank you.